Today I'm going to try to clean up my hard drive. I'm, I'm in the computer folder. I went to, um, to the Windows Start tab and then the computer it might be my computer depending on what version of Windows you have. Now I'm going to right click on the hard drive here and go down to properties. Now I got this little pie chart that shows how much free space I have. As you can see, I have about 58 gigabytes free right now out of 222 gigabytes on my hard drive. And then there's this little thing here that says disk cleanups. So I'm going to click on this. For other versions of Windows, it might be different. I'm using Vista. Alright, and then it asks me to choose which files to clean up. And I'll put down files from all users on this computer. Now I get this thing asking for permission to continue, so I click on continue. It says disk space cleanup manager for Windows that's trying to run. So I click on continue. Alright, now it's checking to see how much space I can free up on my hard drive. It says it may take a few minutes to complete. Now this window came on and tells me that I have 25.7 gigabytes of disk space that I can free up if I delete different kinds of files. So 25.7 gigabytes is quite a bit of space. But if you look closely here, most of them are under what is called temporary sync files, 21.9 gigabytes. So it's nearly most of it's in that one category. And according to this, it gives a description of what temporary sync files are. And it says that they're files that Windows Media Player um, creates when it's necessary to convert files before sync. So you're probably wondering what temp sync files are exactly. Well, they're the files that apparently Windows Media Player creates in order to um, copy their files that are used that can be played on an MP3 player like one of these or some other device that you sync to. So if you don't do a lot of syncing to your portable devices like these, there is no point in having these temp sync temporary sync files on your hard drive because they'll re the computer or Windows Media Player will automatically recreate them when you try to do syncing in the future. They're only there. The main benefit for having them on your hard drive, these temp sync files, is if you do a lot of syncing to your devices. Since I don't do a whole lot of syncing to my portable devices, I'm going to go ahead and check mark this here and delete my temporary sync files. I can gain about 22 gigabytes of free hard drive space. So I clicked it on, check marked it up here, and now I'm going down here and clicking on OK. And it asks, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? And I go ahead and pick delete files instead of cancel. All right now it's cleaning them up and now I'm gonna go back and check the properties again go back to where the pie chart is and it shows now that I have 80 gigabytes free so I gained quite a bit of space by doing this. So like I said if you are um, if you do a lot of syncing, you might want to leave those files on there, but if you don't, you can go ahead and delete them. Because it may save you a lot of space, like in the case of me. I had like 20 gigabytes of it, and so that's a lot of space. That's like several, like five DVDs worth, I think, of space so, that I freed up.